Hey guys, welcome back to Drew Tutorial. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to scan and remove viruses on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer by simply using the command prompt, right? So let's open up command prompt on my computer here. Just simply click the Windows icon on your taskbar and type CMD. Then you wanna right click and open this as administrator. Now once this is open guys, let me go ahead and maximize it. You want to type task list and you want to hit enter. And this will go ahead and find all the tasks on your computer guys. So you want to go ahead and go through this list to see if you find anything that you don't want or anything suspicious on your computer that you would like to kill or definitely like to remove, right? Let's put it like that. So you have to go through the list guys. And if you find something, you can simply go ahead and close it. So for this example, guys, I'm going to use WhatsApp.exe. So you want to highlight it, then press Ctrl C and this will copy the application here. And then the next thing that you wanna do is just simple type task kill, right? Just like that. And then you want to go ahead and do a space. Then you want to do forward slash uppercase F like that. Then space again, forward slash. And then you want to go ahead and type I am with uppercase like that. And then you want to simple click another space again. And then you want to do a right click on your mouse to put the application that you just copied. And once you do that, just simply go ahead and hit enter and this will go ahead and terminate and close that process. So if you go through the list here guys and you find something suspicious, this is the way how you can go ahead and kill or close that particular task. All right guys, so the next command that you want to use is let's say if you have a drive on your computer. So let me go ahead and open up my file explorer here guys and let's go to this PC. So let's say you have multiple drives and you like to scan this drive to see if there's some problem, some virus within the particular drive. I'm going to use my drive C, my local drive C as an example, right? Let me minimize this. So what you want to do guys, you want to go ahead and type C there with the uppercase and then you want to use the colon and you simply want it enter. All right guys, so as you can see, I'm currently in drive C as the path here mentioned, right? But if you're not in drive C, all you have to do is just simple, press the uppercase C and the colon there and hit enter and you will be taken into the drive C location there, right? Now, once you do that, guys, you want to go ahead and you want to type this command here that you see I have on my screen, attrib space dash S space dash H space dash R space forward slash S space forward slash d space asterisk that asterisk right you want to go ahead and type that and i'll put this within the description of this video and you simply want to go ahead and hit enter now once you do that guys this is going to go through and scan your entire c drive right it's going to scan your entire c drive and find the path and files all of those files within your computer right within that drive now the next thing that you want to do guys is that you want a simple type DRI to go to the directory and this is going to find all the different files. Now what you want to do guys, you want to go through the list of these files to see if you find any suspicious file that you don't know and you want to get rid of. There's quite a lot of files so if you go through the list and you find something that you don't know, all you have to do is just simply over over that file and you want to go ahead and paste that into Google and Google will definitely tell you what the file is and if it's a virus or whatever it is Google will definitely tell you what it is now guys there is a particular file that you need to be aware of the file name is autorun.if if you should find this file within the list here you want to go ahead and delete that file so guys if you come across this autorun.if file you want to go ahead and delete it all you have to do, just simply go ahead and type delete space and you want to put the file name right there and simply hit enter. That's how you go ahead and delete it. The reason for deleting this specific file by the name of autorun.if is because Trojan or viruses uses the same mechanism to spread virus on your computer. And you want to go ahead and delete that. And I'll put that even in the description of the video so that you can remember and you'll be able to to delete it if you should somehow come across this file, right? So you want to go ahead and type delete space and the name of the file, hit enter, and you'll be able to delete 
that specific file right so the next command that i want you to type now guys is just simply type ms config right once you type ms config what's going to open guys is going to open up your system configuration and here it has opened for me in my separate screen so i'm showing you right here so it's going to open this system.config and you want to click on start up your guys and you want to open up the task manager now you might be wondering why I open up the task manager like this and not simply go ahead and right click on the windows key and simply open up task manager the reason for opening it like this is simply because if you're having virus on your computer and it's stopping you from opening up any files or application this is a great way if you're able to use the command prompt and especially if you have to run your computer within safe mode then it's a great way how to open up these useful application within windows right so you want to go ahead and open up the task manager and you want to go to startup apps and this will show you all the startup applications on your computer you can go through them and you can simply disable any application that are starting or loading when windows start you can simply go ahead and stop or disable these applications from startup when your computer turn on right so you want to take note of all of these application and simply disable them so as you can see i have quite application disabled here but if you find something that you want to disable you can simply right click on it and hit disable and it will disable it for you very easy and very simple now the next thing guys you want to go to boot right here and you can easily boot your computer within safe mode as i mentioned so you can simply go ahead and hit the safe mode button here and you can simply do it with network and simply click apply and click OK. And the next time you restart your computer, it will boot into safe mode with internet access, right? So you can go ahead and try to find unwanted files or suspicious files or folders or applications. And you can simply delete them by simply booting into safe mode, right? And of course, you'll be able to see how your computer runs once you're in safe mode. So it's a great way to test your computer as well and it's also a great way to test your computer if you should have application issues you can boot it in safe mode as well to test how it's running right so let me go ahead and close this out guys now the next thing that i want to show you guys is if you're also having issues to open up applications on your computer and you'd like to scan your computer you can simply go ahead and type start and then you want to type windows fender right and you simply want to add the colon here and hit enter right this is going to open up the windows defender application here it is again and you want to click on virus threat protection right you want to simply go ahead and click on this and here you will find the quick scan so if you go ahead and hit quick scan this will definitely scan the computer for you as well to see if there is any virus on your computer and this is a great way how to access the quick scan here on the virus and protection if you're having issues to open up any of these applications if virus somehow take over your computer and you're having issues you can utilize the command prompt to access these scans and to access these files that you can easily delete no guys i really hope that you found this tutorial very helpful and if you do go ahead and give this video a like and share your comments below i'd really appreciate that and if you're seeing the channel for the first time welcome to drew tutorial i'm anjo and i really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button below to help grow this community and also so that you'll never miss out when i release another helpful tutorial just like this one thank you very much and see you next time